Hey guys, Le Petler back with another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the best 2020 beginner road bike that money can buy. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. So the bike right here is the 2020 TCR Advanced 2 KOM Edition and it retails for 2050 USD and the bike comes with a full 105 group set meaning that the crank, the shifters, the brakes, the front derailleur and the rear derailleur is all 105 componentry which is made by Shimano. Now the one thing I love about this bike is that no other bike on the market for this price can even come close with what you're getting on the bike. So I'll give you guys a quick rundown of what you actually get on this bike. So like I said previously, you get a full 105 group set, which is amazing. You don't need Altegra, you don't need Duris. Duris is what the pros ride, and Altegra is more, I would say, of the seasonal, uh, you know, semi-pro to even serious rider. So if you're a beginner, a 105 group set is more than enough. Or even if you are racing at a pretty high level, but you are on a budget, you will not be getting dropped because you have 105. I can guarantee that. So they come right out of the box with a compact group set, which means that you know for the majority of riders that are fresh to cycling or and might not be pushing such a big gear um, or have a super strong pedal stroke, this will be more than enough to keep a consistent strong pedaling stroke at a good cadence, meaning that your knees are not gonna be uh, sore or developing uh, strain. Also, you're getting a big uh, initial cassette on the bike. This is an 1132. And with the compact uh, group set, there is probably no hill that you will ever really run out of gears unless you're you know, living in the mountains and climbing. And even that would be a stretch. This group set should be fine for you. Now, the other thing I love about this bike is that right out of the box, you're getting a full carbon fiber um, frame and fork, which is amazing because carbon fiber for a beginner road cycling is gonna be very nice because the road vibrations are gonna be a very much dampened compared to the aluminum that a lot of beginner bikes come with. So at this price range, you're getting a carbon fiber bike, which is gonna be amazing for road vibrations. Now, you don't get carbon fiber wheels, but then again, you're a beginner cyclist, so that shouldn't be the first thing that your mind goes to. I know they look cool, okay, but it's not the most important thing. Definitely, um, for overall training purposes, aluminum rim is the way to go. So the wheels that come with the Giant TCR are the PR2s, and those are made by Giant, and these are tubeless, meaning that you don't have any tubes, there's a sealant inside of it, and uh, if you do get a puncture, if it's small enough, it will self-seal, which is amazing, because then you don't have to stress about, you know, if I do have a puncture, and, you know, precautions should be taken just in case, meaning that you should bring an extra tube and the tools to repair a flat if you get one, but at least you won't be worried, and uh, on most occasions, you won't have a puncture. Now, just some additions that I've made to the bike. I've added some Bond Trigger ball cages. I have a light. I switched out the initial saddle that came for the with the Giant bike just because for uh, my riding position, uh, I have different sit bones. And uh, everything else is stock Giant componentry, including the stem, the handlebars, and uh, the pedals are Shimano Altegra pedals. So now that you've seen the 2020 TCR Advance 2, you're gonna be asking yourself, why did you choose rim brake? Why would a rim brake bike be the best value? And the answer is quite simple, okay? For majority of beginner riders, you're not gonna be going at super intense speeds or even descending at fast speeds where you might even benefit from a disc brake bike. Now, I'm not saying disc brake bikes don't have its value, they clearly do, and if that's something that you decide that you need to have, then by all means, go for it, spend that extra amount of money, which I'm gonna be explaining very soon. I myself have a disc brake bike for gravel riding and for cyclocross, however, for right now, uh, when I was deciding to buy a new uh, rim brake bike, a uh, new race bike, I decided to go with the TCR Advance 2 just because of the value. And, and it's kind of crazy to think because I was riding previously a TCR Advance uh, model and that was the one with the integrated seat post, the highest, almost one of the highest grades of carbons that Giant offered along with carbon wheels and full Altegra group set. Now I rode that for an entire season which was the 2019 season and now for training I've been riding uh, the TCR Advance 2. And yes this is a 105, yes it doesn't have carbon fiber wheels, um, but in terms of the quality of the ride, the effectiveness of the drivetrain, I haven't really seen uh, a very close uh, noticeable difference. Now, I can see the difference because I've ridden both and you know, when you're riding about you know, 400 to 500 kilometers, you know, sometimes in a week, you can see those small changes, right? However, if you're just more of a beginner starting off, you will be fine with the 105 group set when compared to the Altegra group set. So 
like I said, for me, for the majority of riders, you know, you're not going to be in anything challenging where disc brakes are going to be necessary just to make you guys a little bit more comfortable. The, the Tour de France was won in 2019 on a rim brake bike and if they're descending on mountains at 90, 95 kilometers an hour, sometimes upwards to 100 kilometers, you will be fine, okay? So not to stress you out, but like I said, if you guys want to run for other reasons, you want to run wider tires, um, you feel more comfortable with disc brakes. Some people have, um, you know, wrist issues where disc uh, worm brakes are not as enjoyable to um, pull. They rather have the extra braking power and not have to stress their hands with a disc brake bike. Disc brakes totally have their um, place. And who knows? In the future, hopefully, I upgrade. Um, not upgrade, but maybe I would. I would get myself, um, you know. Uh, disc brake bike because I do like the ability to have you know kind of a hybrid tire where this one you know you can't really do any off-road gravel type stuff with it um, so that's the only downside now like I said for two thousand and two thousand and fifty dollars uh, it's in a great value just for road cycling and that's primarily what I'm doing on this I'm doing road riding road racing group rides so just for that purpose it's amazing now compared to the TCR Advance 2 disc pro compact that retails for 2,450 USD. Uh, you're getting basically the same things. You're getting all 105 uh, componentry. The only thing you're not getting is the crank is actually a cheaper Shimano crank. Now, that's not the end of the world, but for me, I was willing to save $350 and also the one thing I don't like about uh, this bike is the hoods are a little bit big and I do have big hands but that's a little bit too big. I do like the slimness of this one and uh, Shimano does make uh, in the Altegra and Durace uh, Di2 versions of hydraulic, they are thinner. So that's, that's one thing that kind of sucks is that you'd have to spend more money to get a little bit more comfortable hood. So for my purposes, uh, I was willing to save that, that money. It's quite substantial and I would like to add that that $350 can be spent on a one-sided power meter, um, which would be amazing if you're a beginner cycling cyclist. So for me, like I said, rim brakes more than fine if you're a beginner. Uh, if you do want to spend the extra money, you do have an option. However, for me, if we're talking about absolute best bang for your buck value, it's this bike because it will allow you to get a power meter. So that's kind of the two options that Giant offers. Anything lower than that, I really don't suggest going for if you're specifically trying to get the best value road bike, uh, just because uh, anything cheaper, you will have to upgrade if you really get into the sport and anything more expensive, if I'm being completely honest, I've ridden it for more than two seasons. Um, it's just, it would be, it wouldn't be your, your return on your investment for that component tree. Unless you get into serious racing, I, I, I don't see the benefits. So that's what Giant offers. Now, if you guys don't believe me, remember 2050 USD, full 105. Let's see if we can beat, okay? So I went on, I went on Trek and um, just to give you guys uh, some uh, facts about me, I worked at in the bike industry, so I've worked at bike shops. I've sold Giant, Trek, Specialized, uh, Cervelo, Pinarello, Willier. So I've sold a bunch of uh, bikes. I'm not uh, just a giant fanboy and this video is not sponsored. So this is totally, I spent with my own money. These are my opinions. And uh, the one thing I've always realized at, when I was selling these bikes were that giant would always be the one that people would always go with. And the only time people didn't go with giant from what I've seen is when the bikes were not in stock. Um, now that, does that mean that uh, the other bikes don't have uh, merit or uh, they don't have good features? Totally. Totally they do and, the, and they have their own market and their own um, reasons for purchasing but a lot of the customers that I've always been in contact with wanted the best bank for your buck. So that's why people would always go for Giant. The only time they didn't really go for Giant that I saw is if they didn't like the color or if uh, we didn't have their size. So that's just one thing. That's why I personally buy Giant is not only do I find it uh, one of the most comfortable and well-made bikes, but also the best value. So that's why I have no problem sitting here uh, and, and really telling you guys how good this bike is. And if you guys are looking for a beginner bike, by all means, go for a giant TCR Advance 2. And that's just because uh, if I like something, I will tell you guys, I'm not sponsored. If I was, I will tell you, and I would only ever accept a sponsorship from something that I would personally use or endorse. So guys, we're gonna be taking a look at the Trek Domani SL4. This is a disc brake bike, beginner bike. Um, 
the only reason why I even have this bike as a beginner is, like I said, you're saving $350 that can be spent on a uh, power meter. Um, eventually, maybe rim brakes will be phased out and it will be all disc. And at that point, the best value bike uh, on the market, brand new, will be disc. Not saying that you can never buy a used bike. Those, uh, those can be a very good deal as long as you trust the person and it ha hasn't been crashed or has any issues, it can be a good pickup. But right now we're focusing on brand new bikes that be can be purchased. Now the Trek Domani SL4, the one thing I find very funny is that it's going for 2,399 USD. It's, it's quite interesting that uh, this bike is a, a match of, of all these other components. So if we're looking at the specs right now, guys, you're getting the front shifter is Tiagra, okay. Rear derailleur is Tiagra. The crank is Praxis Alba, which is, I guess, uh, another manufacturer. But like I said, the, the most common is either Shimano uh, or Shram. The whole bike is uh, Tiagra. So for $2,400, you're getting tagged, okay? And, and let's let's remember, this bike is 2,050 USD, all 105, okay? Just, just remember that. And if we look at the TCR Advance 2 Disc Pro Compact, that's 2,450 USD. So it's $50 more, but you get all 105, except the crank. And in the Domani SL4 2020, for 2,400 USD, you're getting Tiagra. Okay, so giant offers pretty much, you know, same for like same carbon fiber frame, disc brakes for an extra $50, you get a whole upgrade of a group set. Now, to me, that's crazy. Okay, so right there yet again, screams giant. Okay, uh, now, you know, unless you really hate how giant looks for the color, I don't know why someone would go for the Domani SL4 Trek when you have the giant. Okay, uh, especially when you compare this to this, you're saving $400. So, or yeah, $350. So the last bike we're gonna look in the comparison is the Specialized Trimac Disc Sport, which retails for 2,600 USD. Uh, it's basically all 105 and uh, including the crank. So that's something that's different from the TCR Advance 2, but I'm gonna talk about that. So everything is 105. So the shifters, the brakes, um, the, the front uh, derailleur, the rear derailleur, the crank, Shifty, shifters, like I said, brakes are all 105. So pretty pretty good value. Now, and carbon fiber, you know, very, very comparable. Now, but if we compare this to the T-Star Advance 2 Disc Pro Compact, you know, the price right there is a difference in 150 USD. So the crank at that point, in my opinion, wouldn't be that severely, you know, of an upgrade. Uh, at that point, it's very minor. Uh, especially if it's just the crank and sometimes a lot of people will upgrade the crank if they decide to get a single sided power meter or um, you know get a dual sided power meter just a power meter in general they might get a whole crank based power meter so at that point you know it's not the biggest deal and I'd rather save $150 um, potentially to, to get that upgrade if I know in the long run I'm not going to keep the crank because even on this you know if you, if you get into it they don't really usually sell 105 power meters so you know, they started out Tegra as the baseline, so you would have to upgrade this anyways. Um, but like I said, if we compare this to, yet again, the rim brake, you're saving about $500 and, uh, $550, right? So to me, that's insane savings. And that's very comparable. The only thing that's not comparable from the TCR Advance 2 to the Tarmac specialized disc sport version is rim brakes versus uh, disc brakes. And like I said, if you're a beginner trying to save money, trying to get into the sport with the lowest level of barrier, which is usually money, I'm telling you, the Tour de France 2019 was one on rim brakes, you will be fine. So guys, my ending thoughts on this topic is if you want the best bang for your buck, it's the giant 2020 TCR Advance 2. I totally vouch for it. Uh, as long as you know you you understand that you can still ride a rim brake bike in 2020, the value is there. 2,050 USD, full 105 group set, aluminum tubeless ready uh, rims, and uh, all giant components. You will be having a blast. 
this geometry, which is UCI legal, has not been changed for many years, and that's because the giant TCR frame is one of the best ever manufactured frames, and there's a reason why it's one of the best all-around bikes for not only climbing, but for cornering, for descending, for flats, for anything you throw out. And there's tons of video online that you can watch that uh, you know explains the history of the, the TCR and why it's so good. And uh, it's a fun fact to know that a lot of the modern day road bikes are built around this original design that was the original TCR. So yet again, you know, history uh, has always taught me to go with stuff that has continuously been able to, um, you know, influence the market and also, you know, have a very good reputation, which this bike does. So feel free to go to your local giant uh, distributor and uh, you know give it a test ride, get some more information about it from whoever you speak to, because I can guarantee you they might tell you something that I haven't told you, or they might uh, you know just reconfirm a lot of the things that I've been saying in comparison to other beginner road bikes. So uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, please smash the like button, drop a drop a comment, um, and if you have any suggestions of another bike. Uh, that's being able to be sold for 2020 that beats this value. I dare you. I dare you to put it down in the comments because I will be blown away and astonished. Okay, if you can show me a 2020 uh, road bike, beginner road bike that has better components or same components but at a cheaper price, you win. Okay, so it has to have a carbon fiber frame, um, tubeless ready rims a full 105 group set and it can either be in rim or disc i don't care so that wraps it up and if you guys enjoyed it stick around there'll be more and until then keep pedaling